Today we're going over package management in Ubuntu. If you like my content, feel free to click that subscribe button, give the video a like, and leave a comment in the section below. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to be going over Ubuntu package management in this video. And we're going to go over three different methods to manage your packages in Ubuntu. And first off, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal and I'm going to familiarize you with the basics of APT. We're not going to go into too much depth, but APT is the standard package management for the command line in Ubuntu and other Debian based systems. It's rather straightforward. It's basically an APT. Then you tell the APT what you want it to do, whether it be install, remove a program, etc. And if necessary, you name a package. So let's just say if I want to install a package, it'd be a sudo because you have to run most commands in APT as a sudo, which is root APT install and let's just do gnome nibbles as an example now it's going to ask for my password and now it's going to go ahead and install that this is a game and it's a rather simple game like snake and you go around eating with worms it's actually quite fun and now it should show up in my package list here it is. Now to remove a package in APT, it would be a sudo apt purge gnome nibbles. Now it's going to ask for a confirmation because I'm removing one. Sometimes it asks for a, er, a confirmation when you're installing as well if it's installing more than one package. And now it's done removing it. Now it should be gone from this list. See, it's no longer listed. And that is basics of now. That is part. Of, now that's how you install and remove an application in in an APT. Now to run your updates in the terminal in Ubuntu, it'd be a sudo apt update. It's a combination of two commands. So this refreshes the package cache and checks for updates. And then, of course, it says all packages are up to date. But then it'd be a sudo apt upgrade. And that would install the updates. And that is the basics of Ubuntu's package management in the terminal. So we're going to go ahead and exit. Now the next method I'm going to show you is the Ubuntu Software Center. And that is represented by this pack, by this icon down in the dock right here. I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, click that and bring it up. And of course, it just looks like an app store, and that's what it is. Now this is basically a visual representation of APT. Basically, when you install and remove packages from here. Uh, you're just basically running APT back, uh, commands in the background. So we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and let's pull down. Now, sometimes, unless you're installing a snap from here. Now, we're going to go ahead and search nibbles. Whoops. That's interesting. Right here, gnome nibbles. Then you can just go ahead and see this is coming from, this is the snap. That's how you know that it's coming from the snap. And this is coming from the Ubuntu, uh, the Ubuntu repositories. So that's how you determine whether it's installing a snap or not. Uh, I'm not going to dive into snaps in this video. That will be another video. But we'll take a look at snaps in the next video. 
but basically you just hit the install button enter in your password and it will go ahead and install nibbles Now it says, of course, it's displaying that. Now you can hit launch, and it'll launch the application. Of course, it is also listed in our application list as well. And then, of course, you've got the remove function as well. And then it's going to uninstall it. And that is the basics of Ubuntu Software Center. It's basically your, your standard app store. It also displays a lot of different information here about a description of the program, a link to the website, a place to like rate your the software. It's actually quite neat. I usually don't use this. I'm usually a terminal guy, but this is an option. Now know this, that the Ubuntu Software Center sometimes will fail to install an application or fail to remove it. And if that happens, you may have to use the terminal to do it. It is quite a little bit bu buggy. However, it is a viable option. The third option for Ubuntu package management is a program called Synaptic. Now, Synaptic is not included by default. Now, to get Synaptic installed, it'd be a sudo apt install Synaptic. And of course, the password. Now, I've already installed it. Or you can install it through your Ubuntu Software Center by searching Synaptic. Right here. Either way. And now it's listed in your app list right here. And it would be right here. Of course, it requires root privileges. Now this can handle your updates and your and your installation and removals. And how this happens is if you're going to run your updates, you hit reload. And this is like running an APT update. That's exactly what it's doing. This is a direct GUI for APT. And then you would hit mark all upgrades and then you would hit apply and would perform your updates for you. Now to install a package, let's serve, let's uh, gnome nibbles again. And here it is. Now this only handles APT packages and not snaps. Then you check that and hit mark for installation, unmark. Uh, you check this and hit mark for installation. Click apply. And then you hit apply again. And this will go ahead and install nibbles like I've always been installing. And then, of course, nibbles will be showed up in the applications menu. And then to remove it, you'd hit this, hit mark for complete removal. Or and hit apply. And ta-da, it is gone. This is actually a very, very simple way manage your packages and I find it not as buggy as the Ubuntu Software Center which is basically the GNOME Software Center so and now well there's also the update center that allows you to whoops the update center 
that can run updates, which is which you would go here to software and updates. Whoops. Right here. And it'll check for your updates right here and then it'll run. However, I usually don't use this. I find it rather annoying. As a matter of fact, I usually uninstall this. And I will go over uninstalling it in a later video. So. And that is basic package management for your Ubuntu system. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, consider following me on my social media links below. And if you really, really liked it, check out these videos that are listed on your screen. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching The Penguin Revolution.